Hey guys, welcome to Yacht Med. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about religion. You may or may not know this, but I'm a Muslim. I know that my personality gave it away, but sometimes you never know. The subject is kind of complex for me because it has a lot to do with my identity and my spirituality and all this kind of stuff, but the question I'd like to approach is what is the place of religion and spirituality in school or the workplace or the professional world and whatnot? When 9-11 happened, that kind of changed everything for me and uh, I'm sure many other Muslims especially in the United States. Muslims kind of became in the spotlight and everything that they were doing was scrutinized and some people became hyper aware about Muslims and what they were doing, what they were up to, kind of being suspicious sometimes. That had a huge toll on my faith and my religion and how I, I chose to practice it uh, all throughout my schooling and into college. And going through my education and schooling, I always kind of put my religion, um, I kind of made that private and I never talked about what God means to me, what do I do in my religion unless I'm specifically asked about it. I did not always wear the hijab. The hijab is the, the headscarf that some Muslim women wear. I started wearing that in college. It's kind of like an invisible part. Well, it's visible, but you know what I mean. The practice of my religion, Islam, it kind of became something that I didn't really showcase to anybody. That was a side of me that I didn't really show because I was afraid of being judged as someone who's um, extreme or just misunderstood, uh, honestly. Because I was afraid of what other people might be afraid of, I just stopped showing that side of myself and being more, I guess, secretive about it. But then I got to my school, at medical school, and I was surprised because there were there are a lot of individuals in my class that are very spiritual and religious and they, they show that. I've seen people that kind of pray before they eat food. They talk about Jesus very often, really nonchalantly and unapologetically. And I'm shocked that like, oh, like this is something that's normal and acceptable in some circumstances. You know, I can be open about my faith and what I believe in and people are not going to be offended by that or afraid of it. I'm sure there's still going to be people that might be afraid or might not understand. But it just kind of opened my eyes. I'm so blessed and, and I'm grateful to see certain people in my class who kind of displayed that part of themselves. It kind of made me stronger in my faith and more confident in sharing that side of me outside of a context of like, oh, why is this like this? Why do Muslims do that? Trying to defend my faith instead of trying to explain my faith or share it with people in a loving way. Because most of the time since 9-11, it's been defending Islam and defending Muslims and telling people, no, we're not crazy, we're not terrorists, we're not you know, out to get people and convert them. I've been really grateful about that. Now, the question of whether religion or spirituality has a place in school or the work setting, I still don't know about that. I'm still really early in my medical education. We're gonna get training in how to kind of deliver bad news to a patient or to try and explain that a patient just died to their close family members. And for me, God is a big part of my life. That is something that I would like to be included in the conversation if someone were talking to me about death and a whole bunch of complex issues. But I don't, I don't know how you're supposed to approach different people and patients and their belief system and that kind of stuff. So that's something that I'm gonna dis hopefully discover um, along the way, just some thoughts that I had on the subject. And uh, what do you think about that? Do you think that religion and spirituality should have a place in school and the workplace? Or should that be something you kind of keep to yourself and something that's private? Thanks for watching today. I'm curious to see what you have to think. And until next time, bye.